All right, today we're going to talk about when you can't stay motivated to stop drinking alcohol. Um, I've heard so many people say that you don't need motivation, and respectfully, I have to disagree. You know, it's a bit like you don't need willpower. You do need willpower. You need to be motivated. You need to use your the power of your will in order to move forward, right? It's not everything that you need, but it's definitely there. You know, it's something that um, everyone needs, especially when times are tough and um, there's other ways that you can do this there's other things that you can that you have at your disposal that are um, part and parcel of the whole journey that are complementary if you like but um, you know if you don't have willpower then you're not going to succeed if you don't have motivation how are you ever going to do anything in life how are you going to get to why would you want to do anything in life that's the whole reason behind things you know how are you going to improve yourself you know maybe you don't you think that you don't need to improve yourself and that's fair enough um, if you don't but motivation is what moves you uh, it is what you desire it's the things that you desire it's looking at your future and think, thinking what am I in enthusiastic about you know what is it that's driving me inside and outside in order to pursue and to reach my goals in life right so get into and Achieving your goals is one way of motivating yourself. Um, I think increasing your own expectations as you go through this journey, especially if it's a tough goal that you're trying to you're trying to achieve, and you you think to yourself, "Well, I can't do it," but I'm motivated to push myself. And gradually, the more and more you get into the journey, the more that your expectations about yourself and about your abilities start to increase. You know, I'm talking about your expectations about yourself, not somebody else's expectations of you. Um, you're evolving as a person and you're growing your life, you're expanding your possibilities. And there's no easier way to do that than to actually do it, right? To get up and do something, to get out there and do it, to get experience under, under your belt, that kind of thing, right? So um, another motivation, form of motivation, and one that is... Um, a lot of people go through I think it's one of the biggest motivations at the beginning of this journey to stop drinking alcohol is fear you know fear can be a huge obstacle to even getting started on this journey people fear what's going to happen to me what am I going to do without alcohol how am I going to relax how am I going to socialize all those kind of things but it's also a bloody great motivator you know and again we're trying to look into our own futures Right? The fear of what might happen if you don't do something is looking into your future and, and thinking, well, if I don't do this today, then you know what's going to happen if I don't do it? The fear of what might happen if you continue to do something that you know is, is wrong for you, that's harmful to you. So all these motivations give you or can give you that initial spark, give you the initial energy to take action, to do something, to change something. But you also need a fairly big motivation to to carry on, to keep going, to you know, to last beyond a couple of weeks or beyond a couple of months. You know, I can't tell you how many people uh, that I've coached who get to a certain point in their lives, a certain point in this journey, and you know, they're fully enthusiastic about this, their alcohol-free life in the beginning, right? Full of hope. They're motivated to, um, by what they're going to do in their lives. Um, they're motivated by the pain that they're going through in that moment. You know, the, the negative feelings that they're going through, the discomfort that is forcing them to make decisions to do something. The fear of what might happen if they don't stop. The pain um, in the side, right? You know, the, the fear of cirrhosis of the liver. You know, the horrible hangover or the horrible hangovers that keep coming and keep getting worse and worse and worse. Something that they've said to some somebody else, something that they've done to somebody, the embarrassment, the negative self-images. These are all things that motivate people to, to get started. Whatever it is at the moment, whatever it is that's going on in, in your life in the moment, right? And the problem is that most motivations um, like these, the pain motivations especially, they're linked to the booze. So once you unhook the booze for a while, the motivation disappears do you get what i mean so you've been drinking for so long and there is 
all kinds of pain going on in your life and eventually you'll come to the decision I've got to stop this right so you stop for a while there's no more alcohol coming into your life there's no more alcohol influencing these bad decisions that you're making and the pain starts to wane the pain starts to diminish and once that pain is diminished enough then the motivation goes along with it so I think it's the biggest reason the biggest reason why motivation fails in the long term so if you don't change the the background wiring the wiring that's going on in the background the thoughts the mindsets all of these things that underpin um, all your behaviors the instant gratification thinking the thinking uh, that anything can be solved by pouring a poison into your mouth right anything can be solved by pouring a poison into your mouth the idea that pouring a poison into your mouth is a normal thing to do right it doesn't matter that it's normal for 50% of the people, right? You have to get it into your head that it's not a smart thing to do. You know, it has to become abnormal for you to do this. It has to become so far outside of what you would do. That's what we're saying. Stop the flow, do the work, move on. And when you're motivated, you really have a clear sense of purpose and a clear sense of uh, a determination about where you want to go determination to overcome any obstacles that are in your way and when the motive get when that motivation goes or it starts dwindling that sense of purpose becomes cloudy instead of having a rock-solid goal with absolutely nothing standing in your way you've allowed other alternatives to creep in and I'm not talking about forward thinking alternatives you know alternatives that give you an option about which way that you're going to make progress you know I've done this so many times in my life since I've stopped drinking where I've had a goal I've been pursuing that goal and I've seen something or a better way to get either to that goal or a different goal you know where I didn't have enough experience to realize that that wasn't really the goal that I was looking for so those kind of forward thinking diversions and alternatives that's a good thing it shows that you're evolving in your life right that you're thinking in the right direction um, I'm talking about the alternatives that are telling you, that are whispering in your ear, that maybe your old way of living wasn't so bad after all. You know, maybe now you've got some experience underneath your belt, you can control your old behavior and it won't be a problem. You know, this kind of thinking creates a problem in itself. It creates, it brings you back to that old conflict that you had of you drinking alcohol and knowing that it's bad for you but you're still doing it and there's a conflict inside so the motivation that you've got now is split between this is before anyone even goes back to drinking alcohol say they've had a month off and they start thinking like this now the motivation is split between moving forwards and going back to their old way of life so you need to be clear about what it is that you're aiming for get that clear sense of purpose in your mind in your life you know what are you trying to achieve in your life you know and keep that idea front and center in your thinking you know what the way I look at almost anything these days is what's it going to cost me in terms of uh, time and energy that's the cost that I look at because they're the things that I've got the least amount of now right I can earn more money you know like um, you can lose money you can get it back right Nobody wants to do that, but it, it, you know it is a possibility. I'm saying time. Once you've spent time, you know these are the two most important personal currencies that you have: time and energy. And once you've spent them, they're gone. You can never get them back. So I always think about things in terms of think about all the time and energy that you spend, not only in drinking, but in recovering from drinking, in thinking about drinking or thinking about yourself as a drinker and how much you want to get away from that think about all the effort and time that goes into that right i think about i'll i'll, I'll do another video on motivation and how it links to discipline like we said discipline willpower i think there are two of the same two sides of the same coin i'll do one of those in the future um another thing that's in short supply these days i think is discipline you know, people are just not disciplined they want things now and they don't want to wait so anyway um i'll end it there today if you want to stop boozing you want to stay motivated i think um this video is going to help you 
uh, to get out of your own way and raise your expectations about what you're really capable of. Take good care of yourself and I'll speak to you in the next video. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.